What's up guys? Welcome to Jump Twist Music and Choreography. My name is Christina Gambino. I'm a level 10 rated judge. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to choose music that's not only high quality and licensed, but can help you score higher on the floor. Yes, that's right. You heard me correctly. Your music can give you a higher score. That's crazy. How is that possible, Christina? Well, let's get right into it. So first, before you choose any music or even start shopping, make sure you're shopping in the right place. Don't be ripping music off of YouTube or anywhere else off the internet. It's illegal, it's low quality, you don't know who's cutting the music, and it's most likely it is just someone on the internet just cutting music and saying, here, this is good for gymnastics. They're probably not thinking about your routine. Tempo changes, level changes, you know, dramatic intro, dramatic outro. So they're just cutting music. They're not really thinking about it. What does this floor routine need? So just stay off of YouTube. Stop ripping music off of YouTube, guys. That's first things first. Second things second. Here we go. Music must match the gymnast style with the ages and the strengths. So like what I'm saying is if you're 18 years old, you shouldn't be picking a chitty chitty bang bang floor music. Do, 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 do. No, you're 18. Like, don't be doing something super cute because you're a grown woman. So yeah, I, I said it. <laughs> Make sure your age reflects the style of the music. Also, and this happens a lot, guys. You know I'm a choreographer. I make music. I've been doing this a long time. I have these girls that pick the most, like, outgoing music. Like, so bouncy, so fun. Like, I'm just ready to create a routine that's smiley and cheesy and bright. And then this gymnast literally has no expression, is super shy, stares at the floor down, and barely can move. So, like, I understand if you like music that's, like, very bouncy and fun. But if you are not going to be bouncy and fun on the floor, do not pick bouncy and fun music getting on with it, the gymnast has to be in love with the music. So coaches and parents, please stop forcing music on the gymnast. I've had this happen to me. If I don't love the music, I'm not gonna perform good to it. So that's first things first. Let's get right into it. I have a quiz for you guys. Let's see who gets it right. And you'll have to tell me in the comments below if you got the question right. So when does the timer start? Now, what do you mean the timer? The judges, are timing the routine because each level has a maximum time requirement. So when does this timer start? A, when the music begins, or B, with the gymnast's first movement? When do you think it is, guys? You ready? B, the floor exercise timer is responsible for the correct timing of the exercise. The watch starts with the first movement of the gymnast and it stops with the final movement of the gymnast. What? That might have just blown your mind. You definitely don't want to be holding your beginning pose for more than like five seconds max. It would be just weird and confusing. But if you do pick out music that's a little bit longer than what's required for your level, you can hold a starting pose. However, I don't recommend it, and you'll see why when we get into the next slide. Okay, let's talk about level nine Eastern Championships. I was judging this event a few years ago, and I was the lucky judge whose job was to hold the timer, okay? Do you know how insignificant I felt in that moment? Are you kidding me? I have to sit here with a timer? Well, I was very upset that that was my job. However, if I didn't have that job, I wouldn't have all this knowledge right now to share with you. So what I learned that day is that every single gymnast, now if you don't know Eastern Championships is like the national championships for level nine, because level nine doesn't do national championships, they do Eastern and Western. So Eastern is like the biggest competition of the year, which means the best level nine gymnasts on the East Coast were there. And not one gymnast had music longer than a minute and 17 seconds. You might be thinking that's crazy because for level nine, your requirement's a minute 30. Well, it's not a coincidence that every single gymnast that had the highest scores that made it to level nine Easterns had the shortest music I've ever seen. 
What does that mean? It means that less time equals less deductions and less deductions means higher score. Finally, we want to make sure that the tempo is matching the gymnast's endurance because if you're a gymnast or you are the gymnast and you're tired and you can barely make it through a routine, why is your music bumping? Hello, you can't move slow to fast music, right? Also, the variation in the music. If you look at these deductions I put below, these are straight out of the code of points. You can get up to two tenths, which means your 8.8 eight would have been a 9.0 for insufficient variation in rhythm and tempo throughout the exercise. So if you just have one beat going the whole time, which if you are ripping music from YouTube, a lot of these people don't know what they're doing. They just like do this one song. So like if your music isn't changing and your choreography isn't changing, then there's your up to two tenths. On top of that, insufficient dynamics, energy maintained throughout the exercise. And this isn't just for choreography sakes, but making difficult look effortless. You know, it's, it's not just choreography. It's obviously you're tumbling, but this is just dynamics. These are deductions that judges can take because they don't think that you're having good energy and you're making it look really hard. So listen guys, what did we really learn here? We learned that you shouldn't be stealing low quality, illegal music. You don't want to use music that's too long. You want to make sure that the music matches the age and the style of the gymnast. And it needs to have a lot of tempo changes and you need to have it like dynamics, variation, and you know what? Hire a good choreographer, you know? I'm always available. I have catalog routines available for sale or I can make you a custom routine myself. So I hope you learned a lot in this video and I really hope that you take these tips seriously and let me know in the comments if you learned anything or if you took my advice and you're seeing higher scores. I wanna know, stay in touch. Thank you guys so much for watching.